my name is Zaima Bar Sultana and I am the interior stylist of Lilium. My husband and I started this company one year ago. We basically give makeovers or we also do interior work. Interior selling is basically lifestyle solution. So I don't really do interior designing which is which involves the walls and structures only. I style it with accessories and I keep in mind the client's taste and aesthetic and that's how I basically style it. We have done this show unit for people to come and have a look and understand how the structure is going to be, how the layout is going to be inside the apartments. And I wasn't given a proper brief on how to style it, so I made the first room the master bedroom, the second room is the kids' room, and the third room I made it a multifunctional room for the kids. The kids could use it, it could be a library, it could be an office, it could also be a guest room. So I made a day bed and I pushed it against the wall so that there was four space for kids to play and it, so that it also looked a little formal. I've mainly focused on keeping everything very simple. I've styled it with the accessories mainly. The design was very simple. I've mainly used wood. There's a little bit of metal here, like inlay and brass. And uh, I've also used a little bit of wicker. So I had to mix and match a lot of accessories because this wasn't made for a client. This was a show unit that had to please a lot of people and different individuals. I wanted the drawing room to be very simple and grace, so I made the fire a little more interesting and dramatic. It's not too dramatic, it's quite soft, so we didn't find, uh, we couldn't find a really nice wallpaper and we had a really short time spent to finish this project. So we opted for hand paint as I could really give them my own design and they, so there's a little shoe cabinet which also serves as a bench and it's stuck to the partition. It gives the window seat effect and I've also put a chair and a small round table with a jewelry box which could be used to store keys and that's basically how I sell it. I kept it very simple. I wanted a color that could be maintained so uh, grey was my first option. I've used a lot of greys, a lot of different shades of greys. And for the drawing room and the bedroom, I've used different accents like mint and mauve. And for the dining room, I've kept everything beige and neutral with um, black cabinets and black dinner wagon. formal living room right now and this place was designed very with a lot of neutral colors and just um, mauve as the accent color and we have a lot of um, skirting work with the upholstery also on the side tables it helped it helped me show less of the wood which saves a lot of cost and then we did a mirror work backsplash with sconces on either side and we made this folding door look like a double door. We made into a multifunctional room with a library which was painted with a moody Oxford blue color. We put sconces on either side of the shelf so that it looks very British and this bed it's a day bed which has been pushed to the wall so that it saves up a lot of floor space for the kids to play so that it could also be a kids room as well as a guest room. We put this closet with mirror on the front so that it reflects light. I would love to work for more show units as I get to express my sense of style there. And I also enjoy doing makeovers for clients as I sit with them and I'd like to showcase their personality in their home. Whether it's just putting a nice jug and a coaster next to their nightstand or instead of putting a really big dramatic showpiece, 
interior designing is a part of my job but interior styling is what I enjoy like playing with the accessories and showing uh, expressing the homeowner's vision or style through the accessories that I style the place with.